time to head to Confidential Corner. And today's Confidential Corner is called Is Nude Too Rude? We need two ladies' names. One of them, if you can make it a elderly lady's name, that'll be great. So Uncle Dave, elderly lady. Uncle Si, not so elderly lady name. Uh, let's have Ethel. Ethel? Francesca. Ethel and Francesca. Well, this comes from Ethel, who says, Hello, Agony Uncles. I know this might sound silly. I'm 72. I really should be able to answer my own problems by now. But for this one, I think I need a pair or two of understanding ears. You see, I live in a lovely village and all of us oldies like to get together and do all sorts of things together. And once a year, we like to do something special for our favourite charity, which is the Cats Protection League. This year, one of the ladies suggested we do one of these nudie calendars, like in that film with Julie Walters. <laughs> well, we all thought this was a marvellous idea. But when I told my son and daughter-in-law about it, well, they've taken complete umbrage. My daughter-in-law, especially Francesca, wrote me a rather stinging email about it. I just want to note it'll be a tasteful calendar, but actually I'm proud of my body, and we're all different shapes and sizes anyway. It just feels like a once-in-a-lifetime event. But I don't want to upset or embarrass people, and now I'm in two minds. And then I thought of you two. You all know what to do. You always make me smile. Ethel, over to you. Ethel, get your tits out. Be proud. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> on the money, dude, on the money. Ooh, Definitely. Just... Get them out. And Be actually... Careful where you put your pussy, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you could, I mean, the thing is, you, you could get your tabby, couldn't you? And you could just stick it in front of your hairy Mary from Donaldson's Dairy. You could. <laughs> so then that'd be all right. And what I'd do is I'd send Francesca a photocopy of your bare breasts <laughs> with a big sign going... Stuff you, you <laughs> anally retentive bint. <laughs> do you remember, Gemma, we, did, Gemma, we did a nude photo shoot for Meals on Wheels. We were on a T-shirt, weren't we? And we were standing there, bollock naked, on a hillside in Yorkshire. With, 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 we could each pick a vegetable to hide our private parts. And... Um, it was quite liberating, really. But what was so funny was like people with, while we were doing the photo shoot, there was people with the dogs walking by going, oh, and we God. were going, hello! <laughs> and <it's> like, <laughs> oh, but, and on, then they would be waving with my right hand, but with my vegetable that was supposed to be hand and my butt. Whoops, wrong hand. Can we discuss what vegetables did we use? How big yeah. did the vegetables need to be? I can't remember. Oh, it's terrible. I can't remember. You have to lie a, then. Ah, mine was a Savoy cabbage. Good, good. <laughs> so I can't remember. I don't know. I, can't, I am trying to remember. I think I might have been a bag of frozen peas. <laughs> 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 like only the, you know, the small bags that you get five. Oh, in. we, but we've been. We, well, I think it was, it was when we saw ourselves in Finland running down that jetty. I mean, I'd, I'd been in the sauna completely naked with these two Finnish gentlemen for a while. You couldn't have a sauna at the time because of your head. Yeah. Uh, you know, not there's anything wrong with his head. Well, there was some, but anyway, you were advised medically not to have saunas. Yes. So I was doing this thing with these two gentlemen. So I'd been there whipping myself with birch twigs for three hours. And <laughs> I say absolutely in the nip. But then the final shot was a pair of us walking down the jetty, jumping into a lake. And I did see that on the telly and I thought the time has come to hide. But the thing <laughs> is, you see, Ethel's going to be tastefully managed in these photographs. We didn't. We had a cameraman who wanted two fat lads jumping into a lake in Finland, yes. which <laughs> certainly did. Um, but then there was that time in Namibia, do you remember? Where yeah. we went for a swim and we, we were obviously naked and they were filming and I suggested that to close the shot, wouldn't it be great to do a duck dive? You know, we go, boo! <laughs> mm. Next thing we knew, Saturday, the Daily Mirror Kingy. Over to oh, you. No. With so mummy. My mum sat there with a neighbour, right? And she goes, oh! My neighbour comes in with a dairy man. My mum's made like tea and coffee and, you know, had a little, little bit of a do. She went, oh, you're, uh, you're sighing uh, and he's made there, there in the paper, you know. And my mum went, oh, 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 lovely. Oh, that's good. Have you brought the paper? She went, oh, yeah, I've brought the paper. So she went, <laughs> she the paper and my me, and me mum got, I think you got the telephone call going. Uh, lads, listen, you know, if you're going to show your asses in the paper, could you let us give us, tip us off a bit, you know? Because th there were, there my mum was going, and she said, actually, I was like, I, could, I couldn't work out who's who. Was who. <laughs> <laughs> but she, she kept that picture, didn't she? It's in a she scrapbook. Did. It's in the scrapbook, yeah. So I was going to say that you could not pay me to get my, I, I would do anything for charity. I do lots for charity. 
but I, I don't think I could get my kit off for charity. I just don't think anyone A needs to see it, me personally, not anyone else's. Mm. But I just also, I, I just don't have that confidence. And I think if Ethel's got the confidence to get that off and raise money for a charity that she believes in, she could go, go do it. Absolutely. It I think it's yeah. brilliant. Because I don't think everyone's got that confidence to do that. You need but to Tash, that I bet you would if it was like your mates were all up for it and, you, and it kind of becomes this like whirlwind of confidence that goes around. You think? I don't, I don't know if I could. I, I Honestly, I've got confidence. I'm not a shy bird, but I don't know if I could get my kiss off. But you see, I, 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 I've known... Already. I've known Kingy since he's in his 20s, and he was always the one, like, on a motorway that if somebody, you know, in a bus or whatever, he'd do the Mooney on the window, you know. Boys so love it, that. You've never had confidence, have you, Simon? Never lacked confidence. <laughs> you know, Not but getting just, any bits out, even, yeah. though I, even though I couldn't mostly, mostly I'd, I'd never seen them either because of my belly. <laughs> so, I'd get, you know, it's just like, oh, Kingy, put it away, man. Sorry, dude. You know, it's like... <laughs> no, it's funny. It's something about the What was it, one of your... Uh, was it James or Alex said to you that he made you promise, Dad, please don't ever go on the telly naked again. This is when they were adolescents. Yeah. Same, oh. same with Isa. You know, it's like, God, it's your father's on the telly in the nude. <laughs> but, um, but there's something funny. I think it was funny when we, when we were doing that thing in Finland. As I said, I was in the sauna and it took about three hours, which is really stupid, you know, because you shouldn't be in the sauna that long. And these two <laughs> Finns were very, very serious. And I'm to talking about the Finnish culture of sauna and that, and it's boring as all watching paint dry until, you know, we all got the birch twigs. So the elder one, I just give him such a thwack across the back with the birch twigs, then all hell broke loose. <laughs> but, but the crew broke for, for, for a cup of tea. And I said, look, I'm happy with it. But, you know, there was a couple of ladies on the unit and I said, look, it's lads there, I'm happy. Uh, um, just mm. please, just let the two girls you know, have a nap or go and do something that they have to do in the business way. That that was my limit, you know. But yeah. anyway, they, they brought this boiler down to make t for tea. So we have a cup of tea and coffee. So I had that dilemma. This is this is Uncle Day, Uncle Si, what should I do? So I'm in the tea queue outside the sauna. These two Finnish lads, bollico, I'm very happy. <laughs> Somebody offered me a dressing gown. So what do I do? Do I put the dressing gown on yeah. and be different or do I stay as I was with, with the company of the two naked Finnish gentlemen? In the end, I opt for naked, but Gee. then, yes. But then one of, the, one of the runners who was handing out the brew said, Dave, Dave, this is really weird. This is doing my head in. <laughs> and I thought, what do you do by, by your head, mate? I tell you. Um, and I'm standing there, you know, next to the fjord. You know, but all Sugar. the crew, are, yeah, all, all the, you know, with me, with me, with me, what's it? What were those biscuits called? They used to be in a tin, something assorted. So I'm there dipping me hungry and palmers in. And, oh, that's not a euphemism. And um, <laughs> I'm, I'm there dipping me hungry and palmers in. And the crew are all there, you know, wearing the, the kind of the action slack trousers and everything, combat pants. And, and I'm there trying to create conversation. You know, <laughs> trying just. <laughs> Oh, it was, it was bizarre. Did you spend your whole time, Dave, just standing there going, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, I've got to do it, I've got to fit in, or did, were you actually quite relaxed with it when you were standing there? You were fine? I was all right after a bit, especially when Sai, because while we were filming this bit in the sauna, because you don't waste no money on the BBC, he was inside making his Karelian pastries, like little mushrooms pies with the lady of the house. So actually, you came down with a plate full of pies. So I was distracted, really. <laughs> um, All right. Well, we need to give Ethel some uh, uh, words of advice here. I think we know where we're going, but let's go around the table and start with Uncle Si. Uh, should our Ethel go for her nudie calendar? Yes, but not without telling Francesca to do one. <laughs> Uncle Dave. Ethel, just do it and don't even consider Francesca because there's a time in a person's life when you should be liberated and do what you will and then the people should show you respect and fit in with you. Especially, you're not, you're not going to be, it's, it's not going to be like in Reader's Wives, it's going to be tasteful. You know, yeah. change your carpet. <laughs> and, a Persian uh, rug. <laughs> That's not a euphemism either. <laughs> <laughs> and the lady who will never be naked, Postash. Uh, yeah, I think I'm proud of her. Embrace it. Show your tits. Go for it. Absolutely. Good work. It's great. <laughs>